Ever since 1945, communism had been ravaging through Russia and Germany. However, when Ronald Reagan came into office in 1981, he decided it was finally time to use his efforts to stop the spread. The Cold War was a state of political hostility between the United States and Russia that lasted from 1945 to 1990. President Reagan was essential for the United States and the, Cold, and the world during the Cold War because he took different approaches to problems, he had a friendly demeanor, and had great speaking skills. First, President Reagan decided to change the approach of the United States and defeat Russia in a way they couldn't, by spending money. This, I believe, was crucial to finding success in ending the Cold War. From the beginning of the Cold War to the end, nine U.S. presidents have been in office, and none could find a solution to the spread of communism happening across Europe and Asia. This shows how effective President Reagan was during his campaign against communism. When President Reagan was elected into office, he decided it was time for a new approach. He knew that Soviet Russia was extremely poor from having to pay war reparations from World War II, so he used this to his advantage and increased the war budget to end their control in the arms race. I believe without President Reagan's quick thinking skills and new approach, the war could possibly still be going on today. I think the reason President Reagan was so effective during his campaign was because he wasn't a textbook politician and took chances when he needed to, which is extremely crucial to most success. Second, President Reagan's friendly demeanor allowed him and leader Gorbachev to become friends, which also helped the Cold War slowly thaw out. Becoming friends with the communist dictator must have been extremely difficult, but it was crucial to ending the tension between the U.S. and the Soviet Union. Reagan realized that they were both human beings and neither one of them wanted an arms race in their home country. Not many democratic presidents can say that they were friends with a communist dictator. And the way Reagan acted in their friendship and his diplomacy was important to the ending of the Cold War. Also, I believe that adding different languages into his speeches, depending on the country he was in, showed that he really cared about the country's culture and valued the people there, which further adds to his friendly aspect. Finally, the last reason Ronald Reagan was so influential during the Cold War was because of his great speaking skills. He harshly criticized the Soviet Union on ideological and moral terms, which got many countries to see that what the Soviet Union was doing was wrong and there needed to be something done about it. He played to his audience's emotions and made it clear where he stood on every argument he talked about. President Reagan also used many examples to show the reality of the war and everything that was going on. He didn't sugarcoat anything. When President Reagan went to Berlin, Germany to speak about communism in the country and tearing down the wall that split the city in half, he spoke in German at certain points in his speech to show the audience he was invested in coming to their country and cared about their, their language. President Reagan's speech was so influential that the wall was torn down soon after his speech was given. In conclusion, Ronald Reagan was an amazing president and his efforts in the Cold War were super effective and allowed communism in many places to be eradicated. His amazing speaking skills, change of approach, and friendly demeanor allowed the U.S. to get a leg up in the arms race and was the main reason for the fall of the Berlin Wall. Without his efforts, the world may have looked very different to what it is today.